cake? <gasps> oh my god! What? Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are playing a game called Fears to Fathom, Carson House. This is an episodic series, this is the third game in the series. We actually played the first game like, like this is before this channel even existed. I played it on a different channel and this was like before I was even at the stage I am at now. So I will leave a link to that in the uh, description below if you're interested in watching that one. The second one I thought I'd played, but I haven't. Uh, maybe we'll go back and play that one. Um, but yeah, today we're going to play this one. It looks pretty cool. I think it's a longer gameplay. So sit back and relax. Fears to Fathom, Episode 3, Carson House, September 4th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be, le uh, be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. So yeah, I do believe these are like true stories sent in from viewers, which is just nuts. For a little bit background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dab told me the man would pay $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Also, guys, before we begin, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next. Oh, wow. I thought he dropped us to the house. We're at the bloody laundry site. What the hell? Bruh, I thought we were like starting in the house. This isn't a house, bruh. I'm just saying. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Always down with the basements, man. I don't understand it. No. I thought our dad dropped us to a house. Not a scary, bloody basement. And no, thank you. Always happens. Always bloody happens. Clearly this must be like a recurring dream of ours. What? Bro, why are you telling me to sprint? Okay. Who's that? Hello? Bleach. What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put what? What is this place? Where is Bleach? I need Bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're on earth talking about. I said I need Bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over, we're here. We're here, you said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Okay. Dream? Weird dream. Okay. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? I got this, Dad. Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it? He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. 
Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. <laughs> okay. My dad. Do you need anything? Else from me. Not really. <laughs> Don't know why that was an option then. <laughs> Alright then. What are you waiting for? Scram. Um. Why is there a lot of atmosphere? Okay. It was a nice neighborhood. Sure it was. But the atmosphere doesn't really help. Bro, that is a lot of, you know, atmosphere. I'm just saying, Bree. Fake rock? Oh! It's a fucking dog. Jesus Christ. How did I not know that was a dog? Ah, there. Ah, okay then. I don't particularly feel comfortable leaving the dog out here, but... Okay. Did we lock... His dad literally just told him to lock the fucking door, bro. And he's not locking the door. Great. Oh, wow. Okay, we have messages. This, this is... If I remember rightly, this is actually quite, you know, regular of his games. This school is full of assholes. I know, right? I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Uh, I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got to m some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend, wink wink. A hundred percent wink wink. Okay, emojis. This little baby. A cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. I know, right? Just had this weirdest dream ever. Okay, so these are up to date, apparently. Okay. So, Kara. That's one thing I got from all that, so... That might play a part in this. So I think it said that we needed to pee. I realised the house was way bigger than ours. I can hear the dog barking, I don't like that. Ah, toilet. I think we missed, bro. <laughs> Alright, okay, we're good. Uh, we got a text message. Oh, okay. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh no problem. Oh no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure really, haha. <laughs> He's my dad. Uh, I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Presume that's... Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house. Now that, now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Okay. The dog. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you, it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it. Why is it always got to be in the basement, bro? I'm just saying. Like, of anywhere you want to put it in the basement. See, you got the uh, math notebook at the top, and I cannot use that for the life of me. Alright, okay, so let's have a look for the basement. Levy. The basement was a little too dark. Yeah, that's kind of normal, bruh. In horror games, anyway. Uh, you text again. Okay, almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. What a coincidence! You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Yep, that I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't care. 
Bro, there is no storage room in this house. I've... Upstairs, maybe it's upstairs. Because I'm a fucking idiot, bro. When he meant upstairs, he meant upstairs. Didn't think that. There we go. Uh, uh, no. Is that dog food? I would say that's probably dog food. Here we go, ch here we go, dog. Here's your puppy chow. Here we go. Good boy. Good boy. I still think we should bring him in the house. Okay, Roy. Hey kid, heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favour to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah? You got a whole security system set up here? Yeah? Okay. Uh, have a lot of expensive equipment laying around, don't want anything to happen. Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look at your computer. Okay. This house is freaking massive, I'm just saying. For one person, like... What's enough, like, you know? <laughs> Mr. Carson's bedroom had his this weird smell of, of wet clothing. Great. Thank you for that. Yeah, bro, this house is massive. Jesus Christ, all the way in the back? Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work. I'm sure it could. The system has accounted a critical error. Egg XE EXE. The system has encountered a critical error. Okay, so. Free trial for a limited period. Your children catches cold, your computer catches viruses. Okay. Okay, guide to being. What's this? A better person. In this video, we'll be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever you need it. Step 1. Don't be rude. Being rude will discourage... What? What was that about? What? Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Yeah. I don't feel like these are going to be too happy, bro. Remain calm in any conver conversation. Okay. Okay. Hello. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? I don't know what he said. The secret is. To be in calm is to not let your f feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. Yeah, that's all we have for today. Jesus, I hope this isn't real. If this is real, whoever done this has got serious issues. Antivirus 96. Where is this 1996? <laughs> this looks like a what? Windows 7 or XP computer? I'm just saying. Okay then. Trojan. That doesn't help. There we go. All threats removed. You're protected. Close. So we should be able to use these now, right? I don't know if I prefer this. I do not know if I prefer this. Night mode. Oh, bro. I do not like this. 
whatsoever. Wow, I hate that that computer is just up there like that. Alright, okay, let's read Texas. Okay, so Evelyn. Okay, uh, ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of a cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. Uh, by the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, what place got a TV? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, hold on. Okay, wait, that place got a TV, sorry. Okay, uh, tell that to my kid. Wait there. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Okay, so it's not just him. He's, he's got he's got people here. Okay, it's a family. Where is everyone then? That's what I want to know. Okay, TV. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand groceries. Great. Thank God for that. Yep, don't like that. That is one weird ass show. I don't know who thinks it's a good idea to do that. You know, the fact that there is just tense atmosphere constantly in this game is unsettling. It's just like making you feel like something's gonna constantly happen. Okay, so what, do we go to the store? You can take Alex's bike, it's outside the garage. Oh, cool. So we ride a bike. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is a lot of effort put in just to go to the shop, bruh. If I knew where I was going, that was. 9.22pm. Alright then. We're here at Nooks. Alright, okay, so ranch, strawberry, jelly, chocolate spread for Alec. Milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, ketchup. Don't forget milk and eggs. I won't forget the milk and eggs, bro. Really? And speak of the devil, Turner and Annie. Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she brought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know, anything about it. Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth milf energy. <laughs> Are you guys done? When will you grow up to the... <gasps> oh, anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, Just chilling. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house sit for this guy, Carson, tonight. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split. Uh, yeah, you guys have fun. Whatever pills my pocket... Whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. Alright, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Back, to, back in high school, Turner was the class clown. Okay. That's everything. Fucking hell. That took way longer, because it doesn't give you any indication. You gotta look at this, like, you know, stuff. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nooks. 
You have a good one. Thank you. Right. Okay, just... I kept groceries in the kitchen. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Okay, back upstairs. I hate the fact that we gotta sit down here by the bloody cameras. Okay. I really just had to pee first. What? Well, make up your bloody mind, bro. You know, that's a minimal. Really bad stench, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> okay, Koki, let's go. Get on with schoolwork. Really? Alright, dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Searching. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Why? Okay. Hunter News. It's not unusual for audience to be noisy about some of the celebrity's personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alison Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumoured infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. I love the fact that they have the house that I'm in with a big point and arrow to him indicating this is his house. Sources say Sir, uh, Ray Carson has had people knocking on his door to typical confront him. Alice hasn't been very local about the uh, situation. Someone was at the front door uh, situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. Of course, me, the reader. Great. Because I want to go to this door. Am I supposed to be stupid or something? Like, they told me not to open the door. I realized I could have checked Mr. Carson's CCTV system. Oh yeah, that would help. <laughs> Uh, make me feel dumb, why don't you? Who's that? And why's he got a duffel bag? I don't want to go out there. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from pizza deposit, sir. I didn't order. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson. Leave. No thank you. Well, I don't like this. It's not giving me anything to do. Like, I'm getting no indication of taxes. Or dialogue, or nothing. Alright then. What? Here. You're creepy, bruh. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... Do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. I don't know if that was the right answer. Okay. Look, look out for some pizza. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. You're a dick, bro. He's a dick. Who does that? He didn't even tell me. He freaked me the hell out. Bro, that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. I literally felt like I was having a heart attack through the whole scenario. 
dickhead. Thought I could watch some TV while eating. Okay. I hate Roy. Roy's a dick, bro. Like, I know he was doing a nice thing, giving me uh, pizza and all, but he didn't tell me. He freaked me the hell out. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. What kind of shit do we watch? No wonder we're having nightmares, bro. This is some messed up shit, I'm just saying. Uh, Is that the TV or is that in our My thoughts? Name is Jack Barnett. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He Bro. makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. I could never eat this much pizza. <laughs> what? I hear someone at the door again. Okay. I ain't opening our shit. I ain't stupid. I don't see no one. I knew I heard a knock at the door. Yeah, I did as well. Um, um, I just saw someone go around the back. Literally, we're still munching in the background, if you can hear, that's so annoying. It's the worst noise you could, you know, crash on. Oh, it let's have left something at the door. Okay, thankfully, the eating sound is gone. Uh, we also got some more texts. I didn't realise how many of this Evelyn actually texts us since the last time we saw her. She goes, I'm sorry, we goes, I'm sorry Eve, I think I got run out, that's when we went to the shop. Uh, this dude's on my ass right now. <laughs> it's funny how, like, respectable we're being here. <laughs> Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. No, but you're missing the best part. What you doing? Good night, Noah. Hope everything's okay. Sorry, I got, got, uh, I got caught up with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. I suppose that's our... What the hell are we watching? Okay. I suppose that's our uh, new girlfriend. Yeah, that woman left something at the door. There's no one there. Okay. Well, we can't pick them up. All I know is she walked around the house. She went around this way, area. I don't know where she went, but she went somewhere. Maybe we just go back up and get on with our homework and leave the unknown sender. Hi, hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Not gonna answer that. I assumed it was a wrong number. Yeah, probably the best way to see it. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Good. Not the fact, besides I had to catch up on a lot of work. Okay. Engross engrossment. What? 1.36 a.m. Great. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went out. Fuck, we got like five messages from that unknown sender. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine. If you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter than any- yeah, uh, hotter anyways. Who are you? It's weird. 
In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to uh, had be another prank by Turner. Besides, him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. I don't feel particularly safe going out there, bro. Yeah, it's... it's... Picking up something on the... In the house. I just saw something. I saw something in the bottom right corner. I saw something. Yeah, I hate that it's completely darkness. I wish I brought the bloody flashlight with me. Bro, it's gonna make me go outside, isn't it? It was suddenly very cold outside. Kinda happens in the middle of the night, bro. Hey, doggy. What's up, mate? Okay, someone had turned the power off. Probably to lure me outside so they could get inside. I turned the power back on. Where did the dog go? I could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Uh, it had to be Turner. Yeah, of course, because that's what happens. Come on. Zeke was acting very weird. Yeah, maybe we should take the dog in with us. No? Okay. The fuck was that? I swear I just heard a bang. Unknown sender. You said we'd stay friends. Turner. That is not funny. I know it's you. The fuck was that? Why did the... Why did the atmosphere just... Okay. <gasps> oh my god! What? The fuck? Okay, so you can... You can pick a save point. Surely you can get away from that. I would assume you can get away. So I presume if we go in there, we die. Is the point of this that we gotta hide? Phone the police? Okay, I don't know if that blanket was there on the floor earlier. Or maybe we check the CCTV. CCTV, that's plausible. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Oh, okay. So we ignore... We ignore everything, that's what happens, okay. I hate the creaking. I had a strange feeling about the situation. Yeah, because I kept hearing creaking and a door open. You might be stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Bro, trust me. You're not overthinking things. Okay, we'll just get on with the work, I suppose. Seems to be what? What was that? I heard a knife. I heard something downstairs. I heard something downstairs. I had to go and look. Great. I heard a knife. Do you know like when it goes shing? That's what I heard. I had to go down and check. I don't know if you did, bro. Seems to be 
that the way we survive is we blindly ignore shit. Huh. I thought it would be the TV. And it's not. I'm pretty sure it's trying to lure me to that. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. No! You're taking the piss out of me. I literally see her. Bro. This is some fucked up shit. Like, she's literally lure luring around one of the corners. The only thing I can think of is we gotta go the opposite way to where she's lurking. So, if she's lurking there, then we go this way, right? Pro. <gasps> How the fuck are you supposed to get away from that? How the fuck are you supposed to get away from that? Okay, I see her. She's there now. See her? And she turned on the oven. Is that what we're supposed to do? Turn off the oven. We're not supposed to look at her. Like, is this our ex-girlfriend or something? Is she that crazy? She that bad shit crazy. Okay, so don't look at her. Just go in and turn the oven off. Okay. Okay. Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him. It's not him, bro. I didn't have his contact, I could only, uh, I, I could only ask Andy. Can you send me to his contact to ask him to quit messing? He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark. Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sweet sleepover. Great. I heard you knew this, bro. Because I've been killed by this person like three times. I attributed all of that to lack of my sleep. I was aware I have tendencies of being overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of at that time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cop. I should have called the cops. Is that an indication to call the cops? The idea never even entered my head. Back door is open. Back door is open. Oh, great. In that moment, schoolwork became like least of my worries. Oh, this is real sketchy. Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Bro, the sounds. She must be... I hear breathing. I just heard breathing before. I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Hello. Did 
Did she come in here? Bro, what am I supposed to do? Maybe we're supposed to keep watching the screens until we find out that, you know, that she's in a particular spot that we can get past her. Yeah, she comes right down here. She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my hat would pound right out of my chest. Bro. Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. What am I supposed to do? Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. At least she is not a junkie like you. It's different with her. This is exactly why. I, I got nothing to say. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. Oh. 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 Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. You're gonna kill me anyway, bro. What am I supposed to do here? If I can't have you... No one else should. Bro. Shit, where did she go? Shit. I know what I'm supposed to do. There's another room. Room opposite. I go in that room. Or she goes in this room and then we run out. I think that's it. I think. Do it and I will fucking kill you both. Uh, both of you. Okay, this is that time. Get out of crouch, get out of crouch, run! Oh. Motherfucker. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. 
She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing meth. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that... That nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sent sentenced for a long a while. Bloody hell. Took me so long. So long. This was absolutely fantastic. It really was like... It showcases how great this is because like I don't know like you know some of you might have watched the first video very unlikely because it was on my other channel but if you checked out that if you check out the link you'll see like that one was maybe like 20 minutes long and then the next one was like 40 to 50 minutes long this one being about that or longer took me about two and a half hours to complete but that's just because I'm a fucking idiot <laughs> but like the level of effort put into each of these games especially considering that you know these stories are shared through that site and at the bottom there and then he creates these scenarios and that's absolutely brilliant like that's bringing real life horror to horror which i absolutely love that like you know it's something completely different and out of the books that you wouldn't expect right and it's really really fantastic and this game was really really well executed um especially when you know she started messing with you especially when it got to that point it was like okay now shit's going down so yeah no this was absolutely fantastic i really really enjoyed this one um and we have a couple of good games coming out now so originally today i was supposed to be playing the game called september 7th which is a game by amika games uh which we have covered plenty on the channel but the game uh on itch wasn't working right so uh i'm waiting for him to update that and then we're gonna play that one hopefully tomorrow so we've got some really really good content coming out soon which is always great um and this was a great way to start that off but i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys if you did please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next also be sure to hit that like button and uh, yeah give me a comment tell me what you thought of fears to fathom carson house um it seems like the way that it's set up there's going to be two more episodes um there may be more i'm not sure but uh if you do want me to play norwich norwood hitchhike let me know guys and we'll check that one out as well um as i said i've played home alone uh you'll have to check that out on my other channel description it, the link will be in the description um but yeah apart from that thank you very much guys and goodbye